Once you've assessed your risks, you need to consider what you believe the most appropriate response to be. Conducting a brainstorming type activity might be useful to generate appropriate responses to each assessed risk by ensuring time and evidence-based decisions are part of the process. When we consider risk response, we are developing response options and determining from these options what the preferred course of action might be to enhance opportunities and reduce threats to the project's objectives. As with all other processes throughout the risk management cycle, risk responses need to be planned. Decisions on risk responses should be tested and alternative scenarios considered. In this course, we will use four categories of risk response, known as the four T's, which are take, treat, transfer, and terminate. The four T's create your response options of taking the risk, treating the risk, transferring the risk, or terminating the risk. Now let's explore each of these responses in turn. As we discuss each of these responses, consider which of these responses might be most appropriate to the risks you identified and assessed in the Western Savannah case in sections two and three. The first option available to you is to take the risk. If your decision is to take on a risk within your project, you are agreeing to accept the gross risk this means that you are not going to put into place any specific actions and that your risk appetite is such that you acknowledge the risk and feel comfortable enough to move ahead in an informed way. The second response option is to treat the risk. Treating the risk indicates that you will be putting into place actions or controls that are aimed at reducing that risk. This is often referred to as mitigating the risk. It is an awareness that the risk cannot be avoided but there are things that can change or put into place to alleviate its impact on the project. Treating the risk might involve improving structures within your project or organisation, or implementing processes and procedures, such as developing a stakeholder management plan. The third response option is to transfer the risk. It might be possible for you to transfer an identified risk in full or in part to someone else. As a project manager, if you decide to transfer a risk, you are assigning responsibility of that risk to another party, such as a contractor or agency, who will then become responsible for dealing with it so that it does not impact on your project outcomes. Whilst it might sound like an attractive option, this needs to be carefully thought through. In projects, we have found that this option is only effective if the other party is willing to accept the risk and is better equipped to manage it than the project manager. The fourth response option that you can consider is to terminate the risk, which means that you have decided to eliminate the risk completely. This can be done by changing an inherently risky process or practice to remove the risk, or for example, changing the project scope. If an item presents a risk and can be changed or removed without it materially affecting the business, then the, removing the risk should be the first option considered rather than attempting to take, treat, or transfer it. You are also able to combine risk response options. Actions taken by project managers are often a combination of take and treat, and to a lesser extent, transfer and terminate options. Regardless of which response action you decide to implement, every process needs a starting point and options should be viewed in a structured manner. This will make the decision-making process easier and more readily justifiable. Whether you choose to take, treat, transfer, or terminate a given risk, will depend on specific needs, issues, and circumstances of your project. Remember, before any response is decided on, you need to carefully consider the costs. Risk responses do not happen in a haphazard manner and must be carefully aligned with the project outcomes, the value, and overall project priority. Furthermore, risk responses must consider the impact that the risk could have on the project to ensure that risk response efforts are both efficient and effective.